So previously, I set up this clear tank ram pump to test out the snifter valve. And we got that working pretty good, but that was with the delivery pipe closed. So a comment was made by Aragrunt, I hope I'm saying that right, asking if I could test out um, the difference between using a snifter valve and not using a snifter valve in this setup. So that's what we're gonna do today. So first of all, I've got uh, the delivery pipe up here about 11 foot above the pump. So uh, also I've got a water bottle over there. I'm gonna use, uh, see how long it takes to get to a certain point in that water bottle, um, just filling it up. So let me get this started and we will see the uh, difference between snifter valve and no snifter valve. I had to go and add some more pipe because since I had about five foot of head here, the uh, 11 foot was not nearly enough back pressure to keep this going. So um, I think now it's about 20 foot, maybe 22. So we'll see if that's enough um, to keep this going. So I'm gonna sit here and prime this delivery pipe. And whenever it's ready, we'll begin our test. With a bit of work, I've managed to get the pump going with the snifter valve. So you can see here that it is pumping and the snifter valve is working. So far I've not seen any of that um, air go into the tank. So it must be um, going up the line. So that's another thing to consider um, with this build. So first of all, let's go measure the water output and we'll get that test done. So I'm gonna see how full this will get in one minute's time. Oops. This is approximately 20 to 22 feet above the pump. In one minute, with the snifter valve, got 17 ounces. So now I'm gonna go take out that snifter valve pipe and see what we get in the same amount of time. So the pump's been running for several minutes now, and I'm still not seeing any air with the snifter valve, which means the pressure has equalized um, pretty close to what's going up the uh, delivery pipe. So I just wanna close the delivery pipe here and see if we do start getting those air bubbles in here. Well, there's a few bubbles that are coming up, but I can't seem to make it gulp air like it was before on our previous test. But um, I believe I'm going to go ahead and replace that pipe with the snifter valve down there. And uh, we'll see if there's much of a change in the, uh, the amount of efficiency that we get. Well, whenever I went to take off the uh, longer pipe here, I realized there were lots of snails stuck in this check valve here. So I cleaned that out and um, reassembled it. And it seems to be operating a lot smoother now. So I believe I'm going to rerun that test and uh, just let you know what the results were before swapping over to the uh, shorter uh, pipe here. Strange though, I'm still not seeing any air bubbles like we were seeing last time. So I just replaced that longer pipe with a short one. And first observation, it starts a whole lot faster than it did before as far as priming goes. So let's walk up here and do our test again and see what we have for efficiency. Okay, time for the next test. Got the stopwatch going this time. Thirty seconds. Okay, so without the snifter valve, exactly 20 ounces in the same amount of time, which means uh, three ounces better without the snifter valve, and the valve wasn't even working anyway for some reason. Even after I removed those snails, it still didn't uh, have air popping through. So my thoughts on this test are use an inner tube or foam inside of your pressure tank to um, keep it from ever getting waterlogged. And that way, you don't have to worry with that snifter valve. It's possible that you can get a one-way valve, a tiny one, put in that spot. 
that doesn't release the water but does gulp in air. But um, if you know where to find one of those, I would love to know so I could uh, run a test with it because I looked and did not find one. Anyway, fun stuff. If you have more ideas for ram pump tests, just let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.